Henry is one of the uh, country's leading football journalists. What do your days consist of out here in Poland? Well, days like today where uh, have a uh, press conference, we had the broadcast one in here and then uh, Wayne Rooney today came through and, and sat through with us and talked absolutely brilliantly. And all those sort of quotes from that press conference briefing will be in the, the, the national newspapers tomorrow. And obviously you've been covering tournaments for a long time and then run now. How does this one compare? I think it's been one of the calmest. I think that's the good thing about Hodgson is, is that he's taken a lot of the drama out of England, obviously the results and the performances, particularly you know with the way the team reacted uh, against Sweden. You know those help. I mean, ultimately results set the tone. But I really like the mood around the camp. And we're obviously we're detached from it. But when you talk to the players, you talk to people inside the camp, it seems to be it seems to be a lot calmer. And how's the standard of football been for you at this tournament? Well, it's been some fantastic football. You've only got to look at Perlo and De Rossi, even when he was playing in defence. Iniesta, I mean, he's just sensational. You know, Debussy, I thought, the, uh, the, the French right back against England, I thought, you know, he was terrific and he was up against the best left back in the world in, in, in Ashley Cole. And from England's perspective, you know, Danny Welbeck, I was amazed when people said that, you know, he didn't mean that. I mean, anyone who's watched Danny Welbeck's career and, you know, I've been fortunate to go down to Carrington and watch some of their development teams at Manchester United, you know, they practice that. They encourage that sort of improvisation, and it's great that Hovchin obviously encouraged it here. Carroll, I thought, was immense. I mean, that was an old school um, centre forward, English centre forwards goal. I mean, you know, people uh, who are old enough remember Jeff Astle, it was a Jeff Astle type header, or an Alan Shearer type header, or Mark Hately, Tony Hately header. So uh, I thought that was great. They've been very encouraging there. There's a grittiness, there's a resilience. I quite like Gerard's sort of understated captaincy on and off the pitch. I think he's, there's a real aura to, to, to Stephen Gerrard at the, at the moment. And obviously there's a lot of interest in Wayne Rooney at the moment. The focus has shifted onto him. What are you expecting from, from both Wayne and that, yeah, that Ukraine game? Well, I think, I just hope that Wayne, when he gets on the pitch, he looks around for the first five minutes and just doesn't come flying in. Um, because, not because he might get injured, but I just, or get books, I just think that, he, you know, he needs to settle his way in and then, and then pick it up. I mean, you know, he's, he's a fabulous player. I think the system that uh, Hodgson's been developing suits him, 4 4 one, one. And, and, it, and it will really help England having him in there because the work rate that he puts in for Manchester United, tracking back, closing people down. I mean, I've seen him cover for sort of ever for Manchester United. You know, Rooney sort of shadowing the right winger. You know, back in the um, you know back in the left back position, he gets all over the pitch. He's a phenomenal. And if England are going to play effectively a version of four four two and not get outnumbered in in midfield, you do need the person who plays in the hole to track back a lot. And then of course he gives you that little bit of magic that inspiration that intelligence in the final third that you know he can see a pass you know he, he, can, he can pick out players when they're running in I, I, mean, I don't know who he's going to play out front but if he does if it is a combination between him and Welbeck I've seen that work really well at um, Manchester United and he does thread those little passes through which Welbeck's got the pace and the intelligence to run onto so uh, I think it's a great bonus having him back in <laughs>